Hey guys, C Drama Invasion here and welcome back to a new video. I recently asked you guys on a poll and I decided to do this more often. Um, just ask you guys what you guys want to see and get feedback from you guys. And you asked for top 10s. So today we are talking about the top 10 most popular dramas on like an international platform called my drama list and i know there's a bunch of videos for um the most watched or top watch top rated on other platforms or just chinese viewers if you do want to see that then let me know in the comments below but for me it makes more sense since my audience is mostly international fans viewers me included so it just makes more sense to use um, the list and info or data from my drama list so without further ado let's just jump on into it make sure to subscribe like comment all that jazz and actually there were some picks on here that i was quite surprised about um, just because in my opinion some of these dramas are a little bit overrated but i do understand um, some of the reasons why and i'll talk about it once we get to those ones that i'm talking about but yeah first in 10th place is ashes of love this has 28.9 thousand viewers on my drama list and it's rated at an 8.7 this has 63 episodes it's a historical romance wuxia shansha fantasy the leads in this drama are Yang Zi, Dang Lun, and Liu Luo, or Luo Yunxi. This is about the fateful romance between a flower deity's daughter and an immortal phoenix prince. Of course, there's so much more about this drama. There's 63 episodes. I cannot possibly give you a synopsis that's just fully satisfying. So if you haven't watched it already, definitely check it out. It is available on Netflix. Vicky has it as well, and I'm pretty sure um, WeTV, Tencent on YouTube. In ninth place is Well Intended Love with 29.8 thousand views. This is a 20 episode rom com contract marriage relationship between the leads Shu Kai and Simona Wang. This drama aired in 2019 and it's about a girl who has leukemia and she needs to receive a bone marrow transplant. And in order to do this, she enters a secret marriage with the male lead. He is a CEO of a company. And this is one of those dramas that I'm like, wow, this one, um, I don't know if it deserves to be on this list, but I kind of understand the intention. I feel like it's because this is one of the only contract marriage type of relationship. You know, it's a trope that's like a classic. It's very easy to watch since it's on Netflix, very bingeable. So it makes sense. A lot of people have access to it when you're bored and you're searching for Chinese dramas, this one would show up. And there's also a lot of um, intimate scenes, lots of kissing and steaminess. A lot of people are into the bad boy possessive CEO trope. I know it's a bit redundant now, but I feel like it just came out at the perfect time and a lot of people really enjoyed it on Netflix. At number eight, we have Eternal Love, also known as 10 Miles of Peach Blossom with 58 episodes and it aired in 2017. This drama stars Yang Mi, Mark Chow, Dil Raba, and Van Gogh Gao. This is a wuxia shansha fantasy romance drama that follows the nine-tailed fox by Chen. She's the youngest daughter of the Fox King and she's brought to Kunlun Mountain to become a disciple of the God of War. He ends up sacrificing his life to seal off this demon lord and it fast forwards to around 70,000 years later where she attempts to reseal the demon lord again and save the world. This is when she meets Mark Chow's character. He's the crown prince of all the nine heavens and he's actually her fiance. They're engaged but they don't really know that. But due to their love trials, they fall in love over and over again for three different lives. So this drama was watched by 30,500 people. Seventh place is Go Go Squid with 41 episodes that aired in 2019. This was watched by 32.2 thousand people on the platform. The leads of this drama is Yang Zi and Li Xian. It's an esports rom-com drama a very cute and sweet romance between a singer who develops a crush on the male lead the first time she sees him when she was subbing for a friend part-time at a late night internet cafe. She finds out he's basically a legend and a coach for a professional esports gaming team. 
determined to win his love she follows him to events and tries to catch his attention and there's a lot of cute and hilarious moments I feel like from all esports dramas, this one is my favorite one just because there's the perfect balance of romance as well as friendship, really good backstory, and an amazing soundtrack. Number six surprised me. This is Accidentally in Love, a 2018 romance drama with 30 episodes. It's a rom com school youth drama with Amy Sun and Fiction Guo as the main leads. This is a hidden identity romance. And what's unique about this is it's about a girl who is actually a very wealthy heiress. And in order to escape and arrange marriage, she runs off and enrolls in a college without anyone knowing. And she runs into this one guy who actually turns out to be her school deskmate. He's a famous singer. And eventually, even though they start off bickering and hating each other, they fall in love. Once again, I feel like the ones on Netflix is just way more easier to access. Um, even though now everything's on YouTube, I feel like for some reason we just like it when it's all in an app. And it seems like the most popular ones are the romance youth campus ones. Another romance youth drama in fifth place is A Love So Beautiful. This has 43,000 viewers and it stars Hu Yitian and Shen Yue. So the leads are actually childhood friends and they end up being high school classmates. The female lead is a cheerful girl, but she's not too smart. While the male lead is a cold male lead, but you know, he's like the perfect guy type. Smart, good looking, good at sports, all rounder. In this drama, the female lead actually chases the male lead first. And I just really enjoy the drama as a whole for the wholesomeness between the friendship of everyone. Number four is Put Your Head on My Shoulder with 24 episodes. This aired in 2019. It has 46.7 thousand views starring Lin Yi and Xing Fei. This is another cute campus romance. It's also a cohabitation drama where they're housemates. They live together. This is about a girl who's near graduation. She's in the stage where she's trying to figure out her life and she bumps into a very sweet and smart Gu Weiyi, which is the male lead. He is from the science department. One thing leads to another and they end up living together. He's very sweet and kind. So after living together for a period of time, they grow attracted to each other and fall in love. In third place, we have Meteor Garden, 50 episodes and aired in 2018. It stars Shen Yue and Dylan Wang. This is based off of the Japanese manga. There's multiple, multiple like remakes and adaptations of this. Uh, my favorite one of all time is the original Japanese Hanayuri Dango. It's my favorite one. Of course, the most popular one or iconic one is probably Boys Over Flowers, the Korean version but most of these are older like a decade older or even more so of course a lot of people got nostalgia and they really enjoyed this one and for new viewers who haven't seen the older versions they really enjoyed this story as well this is about an ordinary girl who gets accepted to a famous elite school for basically the rich people and there's this f4 group which is made up of four of the most prestigious, the richest, the most handsome guys in the school. They basically rule the school and everyone listens to them. There's quite a lot of bullying. So at the beginning, our female lead is triggered. She stands up for some people. She gets outcasted. And then she also gains the attention of the F4 members. Fun fact, Thailand officially announced that F4 Thailand, Boys Over Flowers, might be airing in 2021 or 2022. So if you're missing Meteor Garden, then make sure to tune in when this airs and also subscribe, turn on notification bell so you don't miss out on any updates. I will be updating on all the air dates, dramas and drama adaptations. Um, this one I'll make an exception for since it was adapted by so many and the Chinese version is so popular. So I'll talk about this one too, even though I don't really cover Thai drama news. The second spot goes to The Untamed, a 2019 drama with 50 episodes starring Xiao Zhan and Wang Yibo. This makes sense since it is 
one of the only censored BL dramas that are in China. I know there's um, some series before that did get um, banned or censored. But this one really made this BL genre really popular recently in the past few years for Chinese dramas. It's a costume fantasy wuxia drama following two people from different sectors. They're both very talented disciples, very different um, personalities though. One is cold on the outside, but he's very righteous and actually very sweet, but not a lot of people know it. Xiao Zhan's character is playful, he brings it out of Wang Yibo's character, who is usually rigid and cold. Their connection is very deep. They understand each other, even though there's so many miscommunication and misunderstanding that's happening. They always kind of stay by each other's side over the years, and it's such a touching and beautiful story. This drama has 53.7 thousand watchers. And finally, in first place, I don't know if it surprises you. It doesn't for me because it's definitely been the most talked about drama on like all the platforms. And this is Love O2O. This has 30 episodes. It aired in 2016 and is still popular to this day. This drama has 60.7 thousand drama watchers. It stars Yang Yang and Zhang Shuang. This is a romance between an all-rounder student who is actually a company's president or CEO of this game company and he is the most popular student on campus. We also have a very beautiful science major, Weiwei, the female lead, and the male lead instantly falls in love with her after seeing her play this game online, and he tries to capture her heart both online and in real life. It's super cute, and when it came out, I think it was one of a kind just because we didn't have a lot of e-gaming concepts back then. This is one of the first ones, and it also incorporated the fluffy romance that everyone loves. The two leads are very good looking. And this drama basically got successful everywhere. Yang Yang's career has kind of always been steered to this direction, in his modern dramas at least. He's always in a drama with gaming involved. But he's good at it. I'm not even complaining. I really enjoyed You Are My Glory, which was one of the dramas I was kind of surprised didn't make the top 10, but there's so many dramas here. Some other dramas that I thought would have made the list would be Word of Honor, but in a way it does make sense because those are so new and a lot of people only watch these dramas like after years, a couple years go by and then they're like, okay, I'll check it out. So I guess the more years go by, we'll see how this list change. I might make like a yearly video on this since it's quite interesting so we can compare and see how it changes every year so that's it for this video hope you guys enjoyed it let me know in the comments below what other type of top 10s would you like to see from me if you want to take it a step further to support my channel you can buy me a ko-fi link in the description box below and i'll see you guys next time bye